Power for Nokia HQ and today we're going to showcase one of our newest features for our Chrome extension integration. Uh, if you don't know what that is, we uh, offer an integration that allows you to build Chrome extensions without code by just using your Bubble application. We have lots of other videos um, showcasing how to set up the Chrome extension, how to use it and the basic functionality. And in this video, we're going to showcase one of our newest additions, which is text to speech. So how does that work? Um, I'm here in my Bubble application. This is where I'm building my Chrome extension. As always, I've got my plugin uh, installed here by just dragging it onto the page. And I can basically build the whole extension here on this Bubble app. So let me just add a button. Okay. Um, and I'm going to call this um, Start Text to Speech. So if you don't know what text to speech is, text to speech is a um, method by browsers that allow you to um, convert text into audio by uh, a computer generated voice speaking the text. Okay, and we integrate that into the Chrome extension. So if you click on start at a workflow, as always, you have access to all of these Chrome extension actions, uh, highlighted text, open tabs, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and now the newest one is um, text to speech. Okay, you can just trigger that. And then there are three inputs here. So first of all, obviously the text that should be read. So we're just gonna start with hello world. The language, okay, you can uh, take a look at the browser locales to see what kind of languages are supported, but that's basically the voice of the reader. And then the rate, so how fast it should be read. One is a normal speed, two, three is faster, and you can also have a slower reading speed. And that's basically it. So what will happen now? Let me just, um, I'm here on the software page of Wikipedia. Doesn't actually matter now. I'm just gonna open the Chrome extension. It will take a few seconds uh, to load because it's quite plugin heavy, um, always the testing applications. Uh, and then once it's loaded, we're gonna click on the button um, to start a text-to-speech and hopefully it should work. So let's try that. Hello world. Okay, you can see um, worked perfectly fine um, and we were able to trigger the text -to -speech Hello world. from our Bubble application via our Chrome extension. And now obviously you could further go ahead and couple that and uh, connect that with the various different functionalities. So for example, you could say the, uh, that the Chrome extension should read the current uh, tab or specific text of, or something, or it could, should read something from the bubble database. You can specify all of that by just building with your bubble application. We're gonna make a really simple um, example. We just want the title of the Wikipedia article to be read. So I'm gonna right click on that, inspect, and we see Wikipedia always has the first, uh, the similar structure, the heading always has the ID first heading. So I'm gonna copy this, this ID. And now we're gonna extend our functionality here a bit. We're gonna add another workflow, which is, um, let's find that, get value of element by ID. And we wanna have that before the text to speech. Here we simply have to define what element ID you wanna grab, which is first heading. And then, all we have to do here in the second step, instead of saying hello world, we wanna say whatever Chrome extension is return text. So whatever is grabbed here as the first heading should be spoken here. So now we can open our Chrome extension again. Um, try that as well. Wait a few seconds. Um, and now if we read the, the um, or trigger the text to speech, it should read the um, title of the, of the Wikipedia entry. Software. Awesome, worked fine, you can see. Um, and we now have a dynamic text-to-speech. And if I go to another, um, let's go to servers now, do the same thing, open the Chrome extension, uh, it should now read server um, computing. So let's try that out now. Server computing. Very great, okay. So as a last uh, example, let's try um, that it should read the highlighted text. So now we're just gonna add an, an, another um, action again, which is um, get highlighted text, okay. And same thing as before, we're gonna delete the other one. We're gonna say Chrome extension A's highlighted text. So let's try that. Let's maybe highlight this here now, okay? Let's open the Chrome extension. Again, wait a second, and then um, we should uh, basically allow the Chrome extension to read it, or actually let's take a shorter sentence. This is a bit too long. Okay, like this, okay, and let's open a Chrome extension. Let's see what happens. Wait a few seconds again. And let's trigger it. In computing, a server is a piece of computer hardware or software, computer program, that provides functionality for. Okay, you can see it works fine. So lots of different ways to connect um, the text-to-speech to different functionality. Um, a simple but quite helpful um, addition to our Chrome extension integration. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you guys for next tutorial for NOCA HQ. Bye.